What's up everyone? Uranium futures have fallen to about $49 per pound from highs of $52, tracking lower demand for energy amid looming recession fears. So after months of consideration, the US government has not imposed any sanctions on Russian nuclear fuel. So with European nations winning themselves away from Russian energy dependency, we are beginning to see some nations begin to restart their decommissioned nuclear plants which bodes very well for uranium over the long term. And so with this in mind, I have two uranium penny stocks for you to keep on your radar in this market downturn. And one of them has a mass stockpiles of uranium, making it the single largest pure play uranium stock in the United States. So clearly one to have on your radar given their outlook and the direction of clean energy transition. And I've also partnered with the World's Research Group to bring you some of the best insights on the prospects of uranium through this free newsletter. I have deep respect for their reports as I trust the richness of their insights and the level of deep research that goes into their work. So please click on the link in the top pinned comment or on the screen to grab your free copy of this report which provides insights on the uranium bull market which you need to be aware of right now. And again, that's absolutely free. And if you want to step up your DD with access to over 150,000 stocks, to identify some of the best stocks with great outlook and potential to run, you want to check out Simply Wall Street or Seeking Alpha who are offering some great deals right now. I mean a 30% discount with a 14 days extended free trial period from Simply Wall Street and a $40 off Seeking Alpha premium plan for a very limited time period only. So clearly some decent cashback opportunities right there for you so we all win together in these tough times. And so if you really want to bank some of these best buy the dip opportunities right now, then you want to make sure you grab your discounts from the links below. Thank you very much and with that said, let's jump straight into it and talk about our first stock here which is Uranium Energy Corp, ticker number UEC which we've called numerous times on the channel. It recently had a fantastic running to all time highs of $6.54 but it has since given up some of those gains to settle at over $3.33 with a market cap of $953 million. And given the current market volatility, it is still sitting flat over 6 months so clearly not a bad place to be in compared to some others. But despite this uncertainty, we still believe that the demand fundamentals for uranium are solid. And so if you need a decent platform where you can trade stocks like this and many other OTC stocks, you want to check out Interactive Brokers which is a low cost and award winning platform which allows you to trade over 135 markets. And what I really like about the iBKR platform, which you can see here from my portfolio is that you can access some of the top EV supply chain stocks, but directly from different global markets with limit orders. So if you need a decent platform with low fees, enabling you to trade globally in challenging times like this, you certainly want to check out the iBKR platform from my link below. So here's what's new at UEC. Uranium Energy announced the acquisition of UEX Corporation to create the largest diversified North American focused uranium company. And some of the acquisition rationale and highlights include an accretive transaction, doubling of UEC's uranium resources in world class, politically stable uranium mining jurisdictions at only a 13.7% dilution to UEC's outstanding shares. And a pro forma UEC will have the largest uranium portfolio focused exclusively in the Americas. And on the demand side, there is a growing trend by Western utilities to secure supplies from uranium projects in politically stable jurisdictions. The UEX portfolio is comprised of 29 uranium projects covering key areas in the prolific Athabasca Basin. And on the back of this, UEC maintains a strong balance sheet with over $180 million in cash with no debt. And Amir Adnani, the president and CEO of UEC stated that UEC's acquisition of Uranium One Americas in December 21 marked the largest M&A transaction in the uranium sector in about a decade. The transaction was highly accretive for the company and they have now seen a very positive response from their shareholders and marketplace. And so building on that, the strategic acquisition of UEX has the same characteristics and will grow that diversified portfolio in the politically stable and mining friendly jurisdiction of Canada. It also marks the largest North American M&A transaction in the uranium sector following the UA1 acquisition. And this transaction underscores UEC's sector leading strategy 
as the fastest growing pure play 100% on hedge uranium company with assets only in the Western Hemisphere. And this opportunity provides entry into two of Canada's most prospective uranium districts and cements UEC's position as not only a leading American uranium mining company, but a North American one as well, which will be of great benefit to UEC moving forward. How exciting! And analysts are seeking out for say, uranium energy is a compelling opportunity which is cheaply valued. They say UEC is a well-positioned uranium player that's benefiting from Europe's change of sentiment towards nuclear energy. Uranium energy has no debt and 10% of its market cap is made of cash. And so with uranium prices rapidly rising and limited capacity for enrichment plants, this means that demand will outstrip supply. Some exciting times ahead. And next up to our number 2 penny stock which is Denison Mines Corp, ticker number on the New York Stock Exchange DNN which is currently sitting at $1 per share with a market cap of $812 million. Denison Mines unlike UEC has experienced much more market volatility, is down 28% over the last 6 months and sitting at 6 months lows which brings it to about the same market size as UEC. So one not to write off yet as it is clearly one other uranium play to have on your watch list. Denison reported financial operational results for Q1 2022 including a $47.8 million gain on physical uranium holdings. And David Cates, their CEO commented that the results from the first quarter of 2022 reflected further improvements in the uranium market as well as an active start for the year for the company's Willia River and McLean Lake projects. And the spot price of uranium increased by nearly 40% during the first quarter reflecting the relative scarcity available to the spot market which drove a substantial increase in the value of Denison's fiscal holdings and the company's earnings per share. And consequently, Denison remains committed to holding its fiscal uranium position for the long term as both a means to enhance their shareholder exposure to the uranium market and a tool for the future financing of the development of their Willia River project. And at the end of Q1, Denison's fiscal uranium holdings had a market value of approximately $181 million representing 60% of Denison's share of the initial capital cost estimated for the Willa River project in its pre-feasibility study. And at Willa River, they have commenced and made significant progress towards the execution of the first two planned evaluation field programs in 2022. And the first field program involved additional in-situ recovery testing and included installation of multiple small diameter three spot test patterns designed to facilitate the collection of information from additional areas of the Phoenix deposit and to support the finalization of their plans for the second field program plan for the year. And these plans is scheduled for completion by the end of the fourth quarter of 2022 and is intended to support a feasibility study for the project by providing further verification of permeability, leachability and containment parameters needed for the successful application of the in-situ recovery mining method. But overall, they say it's been a very busy period as they advanced several key projects related to the Willa River and their portfolio development and exploration projects during a very dynamic time for the uranium industry. And this work is part of an ambitious plan for 2022 which is expected to involve several potential catalysts and the completion of various key milestones through the end of 2022 and into 2023. So an exciting outlook there. So clearly some very very interesting and mind blowing prospects ahead for these penny stocks but only consider getting in if the price is right for you and if you fully understand the risk. This video is not financial advice, a buy or sell recommendation but it's meant to bring some new and exciting penny stocks to your attention for you to do your own research. And as always I would love to hear from you so please let me know your thoughts on these two top penny stocks in the comment sections below. And what other penny stocks are catching your eyes lately? And if you're new to my channel, please ensure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out this video right here or this playlist right here to watch equally insightful content from the channel. Thank you so much for being here and I look forward to having you in my next video. Thank you.